What is that? Bug bite? Hello. Allow me to introduce myself. I am acne vulgaris, more commonly known as the pimple. Frankly, neither name paints a very pretty picture, but such is the life of a pustule. And this is my longtime colleague, Pus. Now, we're usually associated with uh, ugliness and discomfort, but I would argue we're actually a symbol of growth. In this case, Sheldon Cooper's ascent or descent into adulthood, kind of a signpost that says you are now entering puberty. Yeah, like that. Doesn't look like a bug bite. It's probably a pimple. It's not, I don't get those. As you might expect, we pimples are not very fond of popping things, but I was about to burst this young man's bubble. Oh yeah, that's a zit. No, it's not. My hygiene is impeccable. Zit. Everybody gets them sooner or later, baby. I'm not everybody. No one is ever happy to see me. My therapist says that's their problem, not mine, but honestly, it hurts. Plus, this is supposed to be a safe space. This is just a pimple. How can you be sure it isn't chicken pox, or smallpox, or monkey pox, which I know sounds made up, but is very real. Have you been near any monkeys? No. Try benzoyl peroxide, it's over the counter. Oh no, not benzoyl peroxide. I'm melting, I'm melting. Give me a break. But a pimple is a sign of puberty, and I'm showing no other indicators. No armpit or chest hair, and I have so little interest in the opposite sex, I barely noticed you're a woman. Thank you. Dr. Linkletter, may I speak with you? If I say no, will you leave? No. Then why even ask? It's called manners. What do you want? I was hoping we could discuss puberty. Then allow me to dash your hopes. No. But I think I may be entering it, and I would like to talk about it man to blossoming young man. Wouldn't you rather talk to your father or a schoolmate or literally anyone else? But you went through it once. Sure, it was a long, long time ago, but I'm assuming the basics haven't changed. Hold that thought. OK, so what's the problem? I wanted to talk with Dr. Linkletter about puberty. And I wanted to avoid litigation. But what if it's scratchy and it's all I can think about? It's just armpit hair. Well, I don't even have it yet. It's already consuming my thoughts. All right, Sheldon, you are a smart kid now. You had to know that this was going to happen eventually. I'm a smart kid now, but what will I be in a year? A smart young man. And then a smart adult with money problems and marital strife and every other problem you can think of. I'll probably have a beer belly or a root beer belly. All right, Sheldon, <laughs> being a grown-up isn't all bad, right? Mm. I mean, yeah, sure, you, you know, your body starts to fall apart. <laughs> but there is a window at about mm, 22 where everything is just... Mm, oh, when I was 22, I was a strapping blonde oak of a man. I'd walk down the street, you could hear the knees buckle. If I could go back, I would wear nothing but a bikini 24-7. My mind was a steel trap. I could rattle off pie to 25 places. Today... Not sure where I parked. I once went to France for a month with a man I met in the airport bar. <sighs> I missed my grandmother's funeral, but ooh la la. It all went by so fast. Too fast. I'm new to puberty. Is a sexual tension. <laughs>